well, it is a Big Bang model. In other words, there is a Big Bang, but the Big Bang was not the beginning. As we know, the James Webb Space Telescope spotted six fully formed galaxies, an extraordinary discovery that left scientists around the world scratching their heads in disbelief. This very big telescope, night after night, studying the heavens. And he found that the stars are moving apart. However, a startling new discovery about these very galaxies is now hinting at something unthinkable. Could it be possible that our understanding of the Big Bang Theory is on the verge of being turned upside down? Telescopes on Earth have helped us get a better view of the stars by collecting more light than our eyes can see. Have you ever tried to imagine how a galaxy forms from scratch? It's no small feat. The universe took a whopping 350 million years to create its first galaxies, and there were nothing more than tiny specks compared to the galactic titans we see today. But now scientists have spotted six ancient galaxies that defy all known explanations. Galaxies thought to have formed a mere 500 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies, observed by the groundbreaking James Webb Space Telescope, are challenging everything we thought we knew about the universe. They're populated with tens or even hundreds of billions of stars. These cosmic giants are leaving experts like American theoretical physicist Michio Kaku utterly puzzled. Picture this. These galaxies formed way too early in the history of our universe, with some containing a mass of stars that's not just a few times larger than our sun, but several billion times larger. Here's a fact to blow your mind. One of these galaxies could have a mass of stars up to a staggering 100 billion times larger than our sun. This makes our Milky Way, with its 60 billion times massive stars, look like a cosmic lightweight. Now, if this doesn't stir your curiosity, I don't know what will. So, stay tuned as we dive deeper into these universe breakers, as they've been aptly named by the astronomers and are set to challenge our understanding of galaxy formation and cosmology. Well, it is a Big Bang model. In other words, there is a Big Bang, but the Big Bang was not the beginning. The Big Bang model is a popular theory that explains how the universe came into being. It suggests that about 13.7 billion years ago, the universe was born from a hot, dense point, smaller than the head of a pin. Now imagine this. Within fractions of a second, this tiny speck expanded rapidly, giving birth to the vast cosmos we know today. But the story doesn't end here. As the universe expanded, it cooled down, and matter began to form. There was a magical period known as recombination, when electrons combined with nuclei to form the first atoms. This made the universe transparent for the first time, allowing light to travel across space. However, there was a time of cosmic darkness that followed, known as the Dark Ages. Stars and galaxies have not emerged yet. Then something remarkable happened. Around 150 to 400 million years later, the cosmos started to come out of this darkness in a process called reionization. Fast forward about 9 billion years, and our solar system was born. Now here's where the six newly discovered galaxies come into the picture. These galaxies are roughly 13 and a half billion years old. This means that they started forming right around the time of the Dark Ages, an era when the universe was still a cosmic infant. The sheer size of these galaxies, which are up to 10 times larger than our Milky Way, challenges 99.9% .9 of the cosmological models that scientists have painstakingly crafted. This discovery is so groundbreaking that it forces scientists to question their theories and revise their models or reevaluate the scientific understanding of galaxy formation altogether. Now let's take a deeper look at our very own Milky Way and how these recent findings are sending shockwaves to the scientific community, causing them to rethink its formation, history, and the very roots of the Big Bang Theory. What is this? Well, this is the Milky Way. This is our galaxy. Well, if you'd like, you can think of the galaxy as a as a city of stars. It's really a wonderful time to be an astronomer. Especially in studies of the Milky Way, we're undergoing something of a revolution. In fact, we can take you places that are really quite remarkable. We live in an impressive cosmic neighborhood. Our home, the Milky Way, is just one of billions of galaxies in the universe, but it holds a special place in our hearts and in the scientific community. Recent studies have unearthed surprising findings about our galaxy, and these findings are both fascinating and perplexing. Did you know that some parts of the Milky Way were formed just 800 million years after the Big Bang? This is much earlier than previously thought. 
The inner disk of our galaxy, which includes our sun, is younger and was formed around 13 billion years ago, just 800 million years after the Big Bang. The older, thicker disk that extends further out likely began forming even earlier. But there's more. Another component of our galaxy, the inner halo, came into existence after a merger with another dwarf galaxy known as the Gaia Enceladus galaxy between 8 and 11 billion years ago. It's a cosmic drama playing out on a galactic scale, and it's rewriting our understanding of the universe's history. However, these discoveries come with a catch. The sheer magnitude and characteristics of these galaxies, including their mass and density, are defying our current understanding of cosmology. The research team has been diligently searching for errors in their work, but the data and their interpretations remain solid. Could it be that we made a human error in our calculations, or are we on the cusp of a major paradigm shift in our understanding of the cosmos? Dark matter is massive, it has gravity, but it's invisible. It has no interactions with light or the electromagnetic force. For as much as we know about the universe, there is a vast amount that remains hidden in shadows. When we talk about these shadows, we're not talking about the usual darkness you encounter during a power cut. This is a different kind of darkness that rules our cosmos. It's called dark matter. So what exactly is dark matter? Even for the brightest minds in astronomy, this question is a tough nut to crack. It's like trying to find a ghost in a haunted house when the ghost is invisible, soundless, and can walk through walls. Dark matter doesn't interact with light or any other form of electromagnetic radiation. This makes it invisible and undetectable by our conventional telescopes. Then how do we know it exists? That's an excellent question. The first clue came in the 1930s when a Swiss astronomer, Fritz Zwicky, noticed something odd about clusters of galaxies. The galaxies were moving so fast that they should have flown apart if only the gravity from visible matter held them together. But they didn't. Something unseen was holding these galaxies together. That unseen something was dark matter. Flash forward to today, and dark matter is still as elusive as ever. Scientists estimate that it makes up about 85% of the universe's matter. But what's really mind-boggling is that the presence of these six gigantic galaxies so early in the universe's history might be linked to this elusive dark matter. Is it possible that a dense concentration of dark matter could have accelerated the formation of these cosmic giants? Well, let's find out. There is a theory that says that perhaps dark matter is nothing but matter, ordinary matter in another dimension hovering right above us. One of the prevailing theories suggests that dense pockets of dark matter might be the answer. Dark matter, despite being invisible, exerts a gravitational pull. This could have caused ordinary matter to cluster around these dense pockets of dark matter, leading to rapid galaxy formation. But even this theory doesn't fully explain the colossal size and the fast pace of the formation of these galaxies. They are, in a sense, too big and too fast for our current understanding of cosmology. So what's the answer? Truth be told, we don't completely know yet, but we're close, and that's what makes science and cosmology so exciting. It feels like a detective story on a cosmic scale, filled with mysteries, clues, and surprises at every turn. However, our quest to understand the universe has always been limited by our ability to observe it. This telescope was designed to answer some of the biggest questions in astronomy today. Everything from detecting the very first galaxies that were born after the Big Bang, to looking at objects within our own solar system, and everything in space and time in between. For thousands of years, we could only see as far as our naked eyes would allow. The invention of the telescope in the early 17th century changed that, opening up the cosmos in ways our ancestors could only dream of. Today, we're on the cusp of another revolution in our ability to observe the universe, thanks to the next generation of telescopes. In the heart of the Chilean Andes, construction has been underway on what will soon be the world's largest optical telescope, the Giant Magellan Telescope, or GMT. With a total collecting area of 368 square meters, the GMT will capture more light than any telescope in history, allowing us to see deeper into the cosmos than ever before. And it's not alone. The 30-meter telescope, or TMT, in Hawaii and the extremely large telescope, ELT, in Chile are also under construction and will rival the GMT in their observational capabilities. These aren't your typical backyard telescopes. 
They're enormous structures, housing mirrors the size of swimming pools and packed with advanced technologies like adaptive optics, which corrects for the blurring effect of the Earth's atmosphere, providing images as clear as if the telescope were in space. These new telescopes won't just give us better views of the stars and galaxies we already know about, they'll allow us to see things we can't even imagine yet. Who knows what surprises the cosmos has in store for us? As we've journeyed together through the cosmos, we've explored the early universe, pondered over the mystery of dark matter, and looked at the incredible technological advancements that are propelling our understanding of the universe forward. As we come to the end of this journey, you might be wondering, what's next? The answer is, a lot. The six gigantic galaxies that kickstarted our journey are just the tip of the cosmic iceberg. As new and more powerful telescopes come online, we'll be able to peer even further back in time to the infancy of the universe. We might even catch a glimpse of the very first stars and galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. Our understanding of dark matter could also be on the brink of a revolution. Several experiments are underway to detect dark matter particles directly. If successful, these experiments could confirm the nature of dark matter and solve one of the biggest mysteries in cosmology. And let's not forget about the possibility of life beyond Earth. Future telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to analyze the atmosphere of exoplanets, searching for signs of life. Imagine the day when we find a planet with an atmosphere similar to Earth's or find new ancient galaxies with life. It would be one of the most profound discoveries in human history. But what if I told you this actually already happened? Ancient galaxies have already been found in their name GNZ11 and GNZ1. They are so distant that their light has taken nearly the entire age of the universe to reach us. These galaxies serve as time machines, allowing us to glimpse at the universe when it was less than a billion years old. GNZ11, located in the constellation of Ursa Major, is a unique galaxy. Despite its ancient age, it's surprisingly bright and large, with the star formation rate about 20 times greater than that of our own Milky Way. This tells us that even in the early universe, galaxies were capable of producing stars at an astonishing rate. Similarly, GNZ13, though not as well studied as GNZ11, also exhibits a high rate of star formation. It is even farther away than GNZ11, providing us an even earlier snapshot of the universe. The discovery of these galaxies has significant implications for our understanding of cosmic history. Their existence challenges our theories of how quickly galaxies formed and evolved after the Big Bang. They open up new questions about the conditions of the early universe, pushing the limits of our knowledge and driving the quest for even more powerful observational tools. As we continue our cosmic odyssey, the discoveries of ancient galaxies have left us in awe of the vastness and complexity of the universe. But what if I told you there's even more to unravel? A fascinating phenomenon that holds the key to understanding the motion and evolution of galaxies. Get ready for the so-called redshift phenomenon. Redshift is a key concept in understanding the universe. When a galaxy is moving away from us, its light appears more red than it actually is, a phenomenon known as redshift. The faster a galaxy is moving away, the greater its redshift. This is due to the Doppler effect, similar to how a siren's pitch seems lower as an ambulance passes by. The extreme redshift values of galaxies like GNZ11 and GNZ13 provide evidence of the accelerating expansion of the universe. The higher a galaxy's redshift, the farther away it is and the younger the universe was when the light we see today left the galaxy. The JADES project, an ambitious international astronomy initiative, has made significant contributions to our understanding of cosmic distances. By observing thousands of galaxies and accurately measuring their redshifts, the project has provided a detailed map of the universe's expansion over time. However, identifying high redshift galaxies is a challenging task. In 2018, a galaxy thought to have a higher redshift than GNZ11 and thus be the most distance known was later reclassified as an imposter. The galaxy initially thought to be observed as it was just 250 million years after the Big Bang was actually much closer. This highlights the difficulties in studying these distant galaxies. Even with our most advanced telescopes, we are looking at faint, blurry sources of light that have traveled across the cosmos for billions of years. But even in the face of these challenges, our quest to understand the universe continues, fueled by our innate curiosity and sense of wonder. As we gaze out into the cosmos, we are truly looking back in time, uncovering the stories of ancient galaxies and unveiling the history of our universe. The story of the universe is still being written, 
And we are not just passive observers. We are part of this grand cosmic tale. As we push the boundaries of our knowledge, who knows what surprises lie ahead? One thing is certain though, the journey will be worth it. As Carl Sagan once said, we are a way for the cosmos to know itself. And with each passing day, we're getting to know the cosmos a little bit better.